the recolor artwork feature inside of Illustrator it does allow you to make global changes to color, but you have complete control over what does or does not change. Yes, it is a selection-based feature, meaning you need to choose Select All to make it happen, but you don't need to be worried about changing colors that you don't want to change. Let me show you exactly what I mean. I'm first going to go ahead and choose to unlock all the objects here in this file. Next, I'm going to choose Command A to select all my artwork. Now, you already have something set up, which is correct over here inside this watches panel. Our goal is to basically replace all of the silver here, which is used in both fill and also stroke areas of an object, of a piece of artwork overall. And then what I want to do is I want to change it to this swatch right here, this 10% of a color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the recolor artwork feature. I have everything selected. I'll go over here and I'll choose this button called recolor artwork. Alternatively, you can go to the edit menu and choose edit colors recolor artwork. Now the dialog box opens up over here, the recolor artwork dialog, to the assign tab. What's happening here basically is a color formula. Illustrator is letting me know that this one color, which happens to have two tint values in it right now, gets remapped to itself, the silver gets remapped to itself, and white itself is protected. Now notice these arrows here. These arrows indicate that the colors will change, but you could actually protect the color by just unchecking the arrow. Since we don't want this color to change at all, I'll just turn off that arrow right there, so now nothing will happen to these colors. All I'm doing right now is I'm telling Illustrator, wherever you find this silver color, change it to this color, which is currently itself, which is silver. I'm going to double click on this icon, click on the color swatches, and since you already have the swatch set up, click on this one, which is a 10% swatch. Click OK, and notice now that all the areas that were filled silver before, or that were stroked silver before, forget about fills or strokes, anywhere that color is used in the illustration now gets updated to this one. So again, what's happening here is I'm telling Illustrator, I don't care where these colors are, but wherever this silver is, change it to that color right there. Click OK, and now I'm done, and that's all that I need to do.